And the genres that I like are horror. And the other one, my favorite probably, is um, comedies and comedy dramas. I, I just love watching anything like that. So um, available to stream right now is a Liverpool-based comedy drama called Joey's. And um, I've tried to binge watch the whole lot, but I got through uh, two and a bit episodes and I've been sort of like really busy, but they've been fantastic. Um, so funny, my eyes were watering at some parts and there's some really quite emotional parts in, in there as well, which is wonderful. I love that when, when I see uh, comedy dramas like that. Now, joining me now is actor and writer Samuel Evanson, and who plays Joey as well, and also Deborah Doran Renshaw, who plays Shelley in the series so uh, uh, good afternoon to you both, Sam and Deborah. Good Hello. Afternoon. It's uh, great to have you here with us uh, today. It's uh, it's lovely to sort of see you sort of like out of character, but we may call upon Joey and Shelley a bit uh, in, in a moment, sort of like we may call upon them uh, to say hello to us. So, um, so first of all, um, uh, it, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, can I just start off by saying brilliant? Thank you so oh, much. I appreciate you. that. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Um, uh, the few episodes that I've seen so far, I am going to watch the rest of them because I can't wait to see how the story develops. It's just starting to get into the, the story. with the don't want to spoil it too much with the dad and all of that sort of stuff. It's really, really good. Uh, Warren Donnelly's character was um, had some choice language in. Oh. He, he yeah, definitely yeah. did. It was brilliant. We had to be very careful about the words we chose. But, we can, yeah. I was saying, don't mention any of the lines that no, Warren Donnelly's yeah. no. his character because I, I actually had to pause because I was laughing that much at the language that was coming well, we out of that character. We actually got warned on the day by Sam to say um, when Warren was coming on to be really professional yeah. and don't laugh. Yeah. And the first person to laugh was actually Sam. Was and it? I think yeah. it was Warren as well, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was just one of those, li- it was like the lines in there, I thought, my word, I just had to pause. So obviously we can't mention, you can't even hint what no, was in. No. It's an afternoon show. But uh, if you watch the series, you'd be able to see. So, um, Sam. Yes. You not only, you not only played Joey, uh, but you wrote the series as well. I did. Um, so how did it all start? What was your, what inspired you? You've probably had this question before. What, you know, how did it all start? It's all sort of like real life. So <laughs> everything in the show is based on a past experience of mine or, you know, something that I've drawn from life. Mm-hmm. And because life is funny sometimes and sort of pushing all the funniness of life together, sort of, it creates a really good story. And you know, obviously there's a, a lot of it's, dramatized yeah. for the program but you know a lot of it like i said it's taken from real life and yeah it's just i love it and i've met some amazing people on the way and mm. you know it's been it's been really fun the, the cast is brilliant 100 percent. and considering most of them have never acted before they have yeah. done a fantastic job in the series now you would you wouldn't have ever you know sort of like um, figured that out by by watching because no, you, you no, can't see that at all that does yeah. not come across at all um so how would you best describe the series then so for people that haven't seen it or haven't read the review. Okay, so for someone that doesn't know, so it's a Liverpool-based comedy right. drama series. I'd say it was more comedy than drama. Sure, there is drama yeah. in there. Yeah, um, but it's about a dysfunctional family based in city. So his mum is. What's the best word to describe Marie? <laughs> what would you say? Um, she's a very protective mum. Right. She's a little bit unstable as well. Um, Joey's also got an alcoholic father. Yeah. Um, and his sister, who was just uh, his mum's sister, is Auntie Shell, who's a very close friend to the family. You know, is really close to Joey as well. Um, she's a lovable character. Um, but it's it's sort of shameless cross with the Gavin and Stacey. That's what it's, it's been okay. described as yeah. in a lot of articles and stuff like that. So <laughs> that's probably, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's actually quite an accurate uh, d- d- description there. Yeah, I see. So, so you mentioned Auntie Shell, Shelley. Yeah. Yes. And uh, playing Shelley um, is the, the wonderful um, Deborah Doran uh, Renshaw. So, um, Deborah, you're with us today. And um, tell us about Shelley. Shelley is just, she's just lovable, isn't she? She's so innocent. Um, actually, I was meant to play the mum yes, right. yeah. so okay. I've already acted done as something else on another project for Sam um, playing Jackie Jackie Diamond Jackie and she's Diamond, a completely yeah. different character and then he sent me a description of Shell and the mum sure. so I put my own little spin on it and then he was saying no, no I want you to play the mum so let me have a little go at Shell and then I sent him my description of it and then he just he phoned me didn't he, he said I've yeah. got my Shell <laughs> So yeah. she's just lovely, isn't she? And she just like she just wants to be loved. Yeah, and she seeing just, where it's gone now, yeah. nobody else could have played that character. I don't think at all. I don't. Think, I, I just love the clothes. Yeah, the clothes. The clothes. Just, the clothes. The clothes. Are are the clothes are, most of them are my daughters. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yes, so she is. keeps saying to me, "When am I getting that jacket back? When am I getting this back?" And I'm like, "You, you will get it back. You will get." It. But 
the, the, the Isabella's clothes most of them. But she's quite fly. She's quite sweet, isn't she? Yeah, <laughs> it's just fantastic. This is a story. It's all like it just puts just it puts a smile on your face as soon as you see the characters. Anyway, uh, especially yours, uh, yours, especially yours. And I do feel like they are very relatable. I think everybody's got yeah. a show or you know a Marie in the family. Somewhere. That's important, isn't it? With this sort 100%. of drama, so it's oh yeah, there's one of those. I can see you recognise the characters yeah. sort of like either within yourself or within your family or yeah, your close definitely. friends. And you know, on that subject, Deborah. So how much of um, Shelley is in you or how much Shelley I I think there's quite a lot of Shelley in me I think <laughs> I'm going more Shelley than Debbie most of the times lately <laughs> um but it's I, th- I think you, you see Shelley in a lot of people don't you do you know little like people that like get stuff wrong make me laugh you know and there's innocent in it and like a little bit of my mum as well my mum does funny things and yet there's there's a few people I work with that definitely like they'll do something wrong and they'll go Daddy Shelley moments. So even in work now that on my day job, the Daddy Shelley moment. But yeah, she's just lovely, isn't she? She's, yeah. she's just a lovely 100%. character to play. So what are your feelings about the series? How do you feel about it? Um, well, I can't give too much away, okay. can I? No, he's giving me the eye. Right, okay, I can <laughs> see that. I can see that. So, um, it sounds good. You'd have to wait and see the final Ooh, right, episode. Okay. And okay. See. Now... The um, Sam, the series is online at the moment. Yes, and um, we'll, we'll talk about it in a minute how people mm-hmm. get hold of it. Um, but are you looking at maybe this going a bit more mainstream onto like a mainstream platform? Is that what you'd want? Or? That is what I would love. I'm trying. To, we're pitching it to as many people as possible. We're trying to get um, commissioning people involved, sponsors, stuff like that, so we can sort of push it as far as we can because obviously it's coming pay out of my crew. pocket. To pay the crew, and to pay the cast and the crew. Got, we just want to pay the crew. <laughs> yeah, I know. But everyone does work so so hard yeah. on the show, and we have got some fabulous people involved. And every um, one of us have got a, a day job. Every one yeah. of us have, you know, so we've put the hours in. And this is like not just happened overnight for us. This has been three years of mm-hmm. grafting to, to get where we are today, yeah, hasn't it? 100%. So, I mean, that's what sort of like really makes me... I watch this sort of like without sort of like... I watched the episodes that I did without researching too much yeah. first. I just wanted to watch it for what it is. Yeah. Um, I read a little bit about your, your good self, Sam, because uh, you're in the paper sort of like... Uh, uh, you're in the paper in a couple of papers, actually, I think you were yeah. in. And so I read up on it afterwards, and I didn't realise, I promise you, that watching it, that it was sort of like, you know, a group of people who got together here yeah. in Liverpool. Um, and like I said, that you were doing it, some people had never acted before. It just did not come across that way at all. Yeah. But as I said, so we, you know, we've had... really, really good. Yeah, we've had three years Yeah, and it's started yeah, yeah, yeah. off, we've got to mention Janet Ryan as well, who's 100%. just phenomenal. Yeah. Um, so it started just the four of us. Right, okay. Didn't it, originally? Yeah, and it did, yeah. doing everything ourselves. And then we just done the pilot. And everyone loved it, didn't he? And yeah, so we just decided to get so, together and, and make a full so, series. So yeah. Sam said, I've got an idea, which when he says I've got an idea, <laughs> some, I know something bad's going to happen to me. <laughs> Was it tough? Has it been a tough... It's taken three years. Yeah. Um, there's, is there eight episodes? That's right. Seven. Yeah, seven, sorry, seven yeah. episodes. And um, was it tougher than what you thought? Sam, what's up with you, Sam? Yeah, I think it was. And I think finding the locations and trying to get people on board was the most difficult thing. So, you know, obviously in some of the episodes we were filming on location and we mm-hmm. were using bars and clubs and stuff like that, sure. trying to get them on board because obviously we've got to shut their business for the day and stuff like that yeah. as well. So trying to get people on board and understand what we're trying to do was difficult. That was the most difficult part of it, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, as soon as the cast and stuff worked on the show, there's not one single person that doesn't love it. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's worked with us, you know. So what about you, Debbie? Sort of like as somebody acting in it. Did you have um, any part in the writing of it? Did Sam let you sort of like touch any of the writing side so of things? Or? It, it kind of goes like he'll give me the script and then sure. on the day and I'll go to him, what a little idea, Sam. Right. So we'll, first of all, he goes, no. And I go, just, <laughs> just bear with me. And then I say, and then he goes about half an hour later, yeah, that actually can work. <laughs> and then... I get my own way. <laughs> yeah, but you know, there's another thing there because I'm from Wales originally. Right. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not a Scouser at all. No. But Devi is. So obviously I write it and sometimes there's words that Scousers would use. Yeah, and you said that wouldn't know. make sense yeah. or that wouldn't, yeah, yeah. yeah 100%. Yeah. So quite often cast you go, Sam, there's something that needs, you know, tweaking yeah. a little bit like word in yeah. wise. But that's fair enough. It makes it more real then. Yeah. It's, um, it, so the character's real. If it's yeah. meant to be somebody from here or maybe if someone from Wales or whatever, you know, it, it'll happen the other way around. If I wrote some, you know, if I wrote something about a character in Wales, you go, no, no that would never happen. Yeah, it'd be said this way around or whatever. Now, Sam, amongst your other talents as well, uh, about writing, acting, all the stuff that you make, filmmaking, all the stuff that you do, um, you're also a songwriter. So you've yes. got a song, have you? This was in this. Is it? Is it in it's the series? Featured in the series, yeah. So, um, oh, I, can I say why I sing the song in the series? Well, it's both. For, it's kind of like 
for Shell and kind of our friendship as well, isn't yeah. it? We've yeah, yeah, so oh, it's right. together. yeah, and so. I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil okay. it by saying why. Well, why well let's have a listen to this. I've had a sneaky listen to it. Yeah. And it's, um, for me, so, and I don't know if this is a compliment or an insult, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, it's There's a, a, a little bit of Lewis Capaldi in there. I like me. that. No, I is like that. Okay? I'm, so, I'm so happy with that. Is that yeah. okay, 100%, that's, okay. That is, Yeah, he's amazing. So I'm more than happy with that. Great. Because it's definitely sort of in that sort of like style, in that sort of vein. Um, so we're going to have a listen to it now. Then we're going to come back and we're going to speak to Joey and we're going to speak to Auntie Shell. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> to see what they think about the song. So this is um, Samuel Evanson um, with a song from Joey's. This is called Forever Lover. <laughs> 